Hello, welcome back to RC Video Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at OpenTX Global Functions on the TX16S radio. Alright, the idea behind Global Functions is they are settings that you'd want to use on every single airplane. So that's the way you got to think about global functions. It's something you want to use on every single plane. Not some planes, not most planes, all your planes. So let me show you how to get into global functions to start with and then we'll, we'll talk through a couple of examples. So you hit the system button and that brings you into the radio setup and then you hit page one, two, three times and that brings you to global functions. The main way you want to think about global functions is these are things that you'll want performed on every single model that you fly. So one example that I'll use right off the top is instant trim. On every single plane that I have, I want SF down to be my instant trim or one click trim. So you remember the video where I showed you how to relocate a momentary switch and the toggle switch? That's, this, that's why I do that. I put the instant trim on this side. So when I hit that momentary switch, it sets the instant trim and that occurs on every single plane that I have. That's the nature of a global function. All right? So let me give you some examples of global functions that I use that might make your life easier when you're navigating around on OpenTX on your radio. SF down or you know if you're okay using if you don't want to move your switch and you have a momentary over here uh, you can put it on the side if you want. I don't like it because of the movement that I always found myself incurring when I'd reach for that switch with my elevator and aileron, right? Every time I'd reach for that switch and pull it, I'd wind up moving the stick and I'd have to trim and trim and trim and trim to get it to right, get it right. That's why I moved it. So in my case, instant trim, I put it on a momentary. And by the way, it doesn't have to be a momentary switch either. I think that makes the most sense because when you're flying, what you want to do is go bang and you're done. You, you hit it and let go and you're done. The trim is done. If you put it on a toggle switch, when you put it down, it's going to be trimming while you move, and then you put it back and it'll, it'll stop trimming. I think a momentary switch is the most appropriate place to put an instant trim function. All right, for global function number two, you can see that I have a SE down. That is this switch right here, and when I pull that to the down position, it resets my flight timer. So I'll give you a look at what that means, just, to, just so you can see it. All right, there's my flight timer, right? Now if I hit SE down, my flight timer gets reset back to the top. So again, you, you think about this in terms of something you'd want to have happen on every single plane. So we covered instant trim, reset timer, volume, this is a good one. When I spin my S1 potentiometer, which is right here, when I spin that one, the volume goes up and down. And that's true, I don't care what plane I'm flying, I always want that to be the same. You get the idea? Does that start to make sense? Global functions are things that you want to happen on every plane. My volume knob, I always want it to be the same. It doesn't matter what I'm flying. The next one, and this is one of my all-time, long-time favorites, is using a switch to play a track to tell me what rates I've set. Remember when I did the video showing you how to set up high and low rates and the, the radio kept talking? Even though I didn't have a middle rate set, the radio said middle rate, that, this is what I was talking about. The reason it was doing that is because I have a global function that plays a track high, mid, and low with the movement of the SB up, SB middle, and SB down. So I'll be quiet and let you hear it, but I'm gonna put it in SB up, middle, and down, and you can hear it play the track. So here's SB up. High rates, middle rates, low rates. And there you go. That again occurs on every model that I have. It doesn't matter what I'm flying. I always use SB right here. I always use that switch for my rates, and I want the radio to tell me when I navigate those rates that I'm actually on high, mid, or low throttle active and deactive so when I use my throttle kill switch the radio tells me your throttle is active or when I turn it off it says the throttle is inactive. Throttle active. Get it? And then here's another neat one that I have it's called SD log so whenever I activate that throttle the radio starts recording my stick inputs to the SD card for any given model and I do that in case there's an incident I can go review the logs after the fact and see what happened. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of other examples that you might be interested in playing with and, and just to tell you, just to show you that you can get in here and play with stuff and you won't hurt anything. It's kind of fun. So go into global function, pick one, 14, I'll pick 14 here, okay? 
And on 14, I'm going to use the SD up. You got to get the cursor blinking. So I'm going to pick SD middle. Is that SD or SG? I want SD middle. There, SD middle. And I'm going to have SD middle take a screenshot for me. There we go. And that's it. So now you can see that I've got this screenshot. Let me go back to the uh, home screen and we'll do SD middle. And that should have taken a screenshot. Now we can look and see by going into the SD card browser and going under screenshots. And there it is. There's a screenshot that I just took of the stick. Isn't that cool? All right, while we're in here, I'll show you a couple of other things that you can do. And remember, you can assign these to any switch on the radio that you want. Uh, instant trim, we talked about that. Reset, you can use a reset for a timer, which we've talked about. And by the way, you can specify the timer you want as well. You can also set a timer. So if you want to set timer one to have one more minute of flight time, you can come in here and set a switch that says, hey, set timer one to one minute. So let's say you're out flying around, you know you've been light on the sticks, you think the battery's telling you you got another minute and your clock is annoying you, you can say, hey, just give me another minute. <laughs> you can do that if you want. Volume we discussed. Okay, play track. We already covered that where I have throttle active and throttle deactivated. That's what play track is. It'll pick a sound from your sound pack that you have. So I've shown you a couple of examples on throttle and rates. Um, that's what play track is. Play value, you can come in here and say these are variables that you can read, like if you have RSSI on a radio or your flight timer, let's say you're interested in knowing what your flight timer says, you can put this setup right here on SD middle, and now when I turn SD middle, it'll tell me what my flight timer is for that moment in time. Eight minutes. Right, so if we go back and look, you see how it says eight minutes? Let's, let's activate it a little bit. Let's let it run for just a few seconds. I don't know. I don't know how granular it is. I don't know if she'll read 753 or 748. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. All right, let's stop it there at 749 and we'll see what she says. Seven minutes and 49 seconds. Well, there you go, seven minutes and 49. So if you ever wanna know what your timer says, you can do that. That's kinda, of, I actually might use that one. That's that's kinda of cool. I might put a, put that one on a switch. And there are other values too, like your total flight time, timer three, um, battery, your battery, this will be your battery for the transmitter, if you want to have that read out to you. That's not a bad idea either. And then global variables, I'll get into global variables another day, but if you want to have a global variable called out, you can do that as well. And then channel values. So as you can see, there's a lot you can choose from in terms of value. All the stick inputs, it's just gonna read you the output of that stick at that time, if that's what you're into. Lua script, I've never messed with that one, but it seems like you can pick a Lua script that you wanna have run. So of course it says no scripts on SD, that seems like an error to me. It probably should look in my scripts directory because there absolutely are some Lua scripts on this radio, but I, I might have to do a little reading to find out where they're supposed to be for that to work. So I'm not gonna call that an error yet, but that would be a way to execute a Lua script. So think about like an S6R. If you wanna do an S6R calibration, you could put that on a switch. Background music, so if you've got music on your card, uh, you can play that in the background. Uh, variometer, turn that on or off. And haptic, I don't know why you'd want that, but I guess, I don't know, maybe you just want when you move a switch, like uh, changing to high rates. Maybe you want the haptic. That's a good one. Let's try that. Let's do a let's do a haptic alert for high rates. So my high rates are SB up. So let's do when I hit oops when I hit SB up. I want haptic, and I think this is probably going to be strength, and I want it to go. I don't know. Let's just say five seconds. Okay. Let's try that. Nope. Low rates, high rates. 
There you go. I just, I had to turn haptic mode on to all. I had it set to alarms only. Okay, let's try that again. So I'm going to flip it into high and we'll listen for the haptic. Yep. And it should go for five seconds. How cool is that? That's kind of neat. I think that that's another one that might be useful. You might say, well, you know, if I'm in high rates, I want to know that, or I want to know that I just did it, put it into high rates. So I think that's actually kind of cool. Oh, I want to explain one other thing too. You might notice that in some of these, I've got the exclamation one X. What that means is don't do it when I start up. So I don't want the global functions to play these tracks when I turn the radio on. Like for example, I don't, when I turn it on, I don't need the radio to tell me I'm on high rates. I only, I use the, the startup script. I use the startup feature in the model to tell me which switches need to be where, but I don't want them read off to me. So that's what the exclamation one X is. It doesn't do it at startup. It just does it when you make a change after startup. Okay. Other options, SD logs, I already covered that one. Backlight, if you want to toggle your backlight on. I don't know why you'd waste a switch for that because frankly, you can set it to work off of any switch or control. Maybe you want the backlight always off and you only want it to come on when you hit a certain switch. Maybe that's maybe you're flying at night. Maybe that's an example you'd use at nighttime flying. Screenshot already covered and that's it. So that's it guys, that's Global Functions in a nutshell. That's just a quick down and dirty. I hope that information's useful to you. Get in your radio and try it out. The thing is you can't hurt anything and if you don't, if you don't like something, just hit return and then on, under that Global Function, press and hold the jog wheel and just say clear, goodbye, and it's gone. And you didn't hurt anything. So the moral of the story is go in and play with it. You might be surprised at what you can come up with and how much fun you'll have playing around with it. All right, that's all I've got for this tutorial on OpenTX. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, I definitely would appreciate your subscription. Don't forget to tell your friends, check out the t-shirt store, hit up my Amazon affiliate links, and have a good night.